What's up, gang? It's your girl Miranda here. Yes, the girl Miranda, aka Randy Beanie, aka the baddest, and I'm back with another video. So, first disclaimer: Don't mind how I sound, y'all. <laughs> when am I not sick? My throat's hurting real, 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 real bad, and my nose is like super stuffy. So, like, if you can hear that, I'm super, super sorry. <laughs> like, I just—it's like a part of me now. My health so there's that if you're new welcome to the channel i hope you stay i hope you want to subscribe i hope you like my vibe and if you're not new welcome back you already know the vibes i feel like i need a name for my for my subbies but i can think about that later i don't know but we'll get maybe well we'll get there okay y'all we hit the goal we hit 350 subscribers let's get a round of applause Thank you all so much for 350, like y'all. We actually have more than that. We have, I think 390 something, 390. And that's just wild. That's mind boggling. Like we hit that goal in like only, only nine days. Like it's only been nine days y'all. And I, like when I asked for that goal, I was at 290. So that's just amazing. We grew hundred subscribers. I'm so excited. So with that being said, the new goal, cause y'all, we always gotta top ourselves. We always gotta top ourselves is 500 subscribers y'all i believe we can do it we're so close i just want to thank y'all for uh, getting me here like to this point and I'm, i hope we keep growing you know what i mean i hope we you know get some new people to come and turn up with us you feel me so <laughs> there you go. so as you can talk about the title this is gonna be another story time y'all i have so many story times like I love telling stories because it's like, I like to see what other people think and uh, like of these situations. Like, cause I know I'm not a crazy person. Like, I know I'm not wild. Like, I don't know. Like, I just like to hear what y'all think about it. So or I just like to get other people's opinions and whatnot. Also y'all, you like my hair? I did it um, a couple days ago, like right before I really got sick. Um, and I haven't really worn it like anything. I did like the pineapple that they be doing when they, yeah. When like the, the people with the locks be doing, I tried to do that. So yeah, but back to what I was saying. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna do. I'm gonna be doing the story time. I'm gonna my title. I don't know what I'm gonna name this story time. I just know that this boy was a complete and utter waste of my time, and he was odd. Like I said, with all the people, but like they do be odd. <laughs> like they be so weird. So I'm gonna get into it. Like we're just gonna hop right into it. So 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 the boy in the story. We're going to name him. We're gonna name him Jack. Let's call him Jack. I don't know. We're just calling him Jack. Yeah, I got notes. I have notes because this is a long story. Like, I had to go back and remember everything that happened because, babe, it was it was a minute. It was a long, little. It was a lot. So I'm. I got the little notes right here. I got the little notes right here. So I'm gonna be reading off of this just to keep on track. You know what I mean? So Jack. So we gonna start. So I met Jack my second semester of my freshman year. At this point, I had no friends. <laughs> my friend group was demolished like when i tell you those people just mm -mm, they were not in my best interest like i didn't have best interest at heart like they weren't my real friends so me and my friend group had split so i was lonely and then there's another thing that happened with my roommates in that situation i don't really want to get into it um but yeah so i was alone or i felt really really alone at this point in my life um it was the second semester i only had like one friend and i never really hung out with her that much like I had met her in because we ended up having two classes together and I was like oh my gosh I'm curious so we would kind of hang out sometimes but she was like what I think she's like a senior or junior I don't know but we didn't really hang out that much and she you know had her own life she's like what 22 so I was like a little freshman little 18 year old just trying to make you know she's my only friend I guess and we never really hung out so I was always in my apartment by myself my roommates were gone um and I think at this point that one yes the roommate that i shared the bathroom with was still there but me and her were not cool we were not friends like she's odd <clears throat> i'm gonna just <laughs> i'm gonna just say she's odd you can call it a hold a grudge if you want i really care she's just weird so yeah and there's that's a whole other story with that but yeah she was also part of the friend group and like i said me and these people just we were not close like the it just we had to fall i don't know we just had a falling out i don't know i don't know what happened to be honest but yeah I was like at this point I had got back on tinder and be okay and all this because I was bored and lonely like I had nobody to talk to really like I could only talk to my mom and my sister but they were like they're like living an hour away like I couldn't just always see them they're not always available to talk so I was just super duper lonely so I met what I name I met Jack um on tinder my second semester of college my second semester of freshman year of college so 
This was in January of 2022. So we texted for a few days on Tinder and it was cool. He seemed nice. The name on Tinder, it was giving like, what does that even say? But I realized like later on, I found out it's just like what he calls himself. Like, like some like superhero name, like, ew. Like it was just odd. So finally we texted for a couple days and we finally met. Well, I think the night that we were texting, the night that we met, we were texting on Tinder and it was raining this day. And Jack was like, this is the perfect weather for cuddling and stuff. And I was like, oh yeah, it is. Uh, 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 you know, kind of feeding into it. And then he was like, oh, so do you want to like hang out? And I was like, sure. Like I wasn't doing nothing. I was just laying in bed. I was like, yeah, sure. So he was like, oh, let's go to the commons, you know, right down the street, right down the street, period. <laughs> so we decided to go to the commons. I met him at the water. F uh, oh, mind you, I had two phones. Well, I still have two phones. But the phone that I was texting him on was this phone, the phone I'm recording on and that the phone this phone doesn't have any service because at this point this was my new phone and this was the one i'm like texting calling all that fun stuff on so i was only on tinder on this phone because i just didn't really want to put it on my main phone i don't know like i just kept the app so when i was texting him i was texting him on that phone it works with wi-fi just to let you know there's just no service so when i left my dorm i no, didn't have any wi-fi anymore so i couldn't really text him so i was going out on a limb like hey like if we see each other we see each other you know what i mean we said we we're gonna meet at the fountain um in front of the uv apartments so we finally met we went to the commons and we was hitting it off like it was so cool like it was fun like i don't know like i actually felt happy and stuff like that and i hadn't felt happy in a minute because i'm like my life is depressing like everything that's happened these past few months like i'm depressed like i you know what i mean like it was to a point where i was like i don't even want to live on campus anymore but i feel like i have to because i would felt like it was a waste if i had went home you know what i mean so i was like you know th this is like fun this is nice so i'm not gonna lie i was doing the most like i was like oh my gosh we just might be soulmates like you're so nice and mind you he's not even that cute i'm just gonna put that i'm gonna put that out there i know y'all are wondering the boy's not that cute he's just not i'm sorry but he's just not and I didn't think back like why was I doing all that but I really think it's just because I was in a rut like you know what I mean like I just was not no relationships friendships none of that was really working out for me so I was like okay this is the best you know this is the best word yeah so I was dragging and dragging and dragging like oh you might be my soulmate oh my gosh we're meant for each other blah 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 so he's he's eating it up though like he's like you might be right like we might we just haven't you know eating it up so that night same night he was like he was like do you want to spend the night over here like at his apartment and i'm like shoot like why the freak not like i wasn't like i don't even care like it's whatever phase like yes sure i will like it's whatever like let's do it you know what i mean i would just really go go free go lucky whatever you want to call it i went back to my dorm i got to spend the night bag and then i went back to his dorm and it was like it was different because i never slept over at nobody's like place before so it was kind of a little it was a little weird for me but he was nice i have to mention though he was very like well kept like i don't want to say y'all know what i mean like he was very very well kept like he had like an organizer in his bathroom like he had decor in his room in his bathroom he had like a bunch of face products and a bunch of like body products and his room was so well, it was just so well kept and just so, and I honestly took a mental note because I know what y'all, I know, I know y'all know what I'm thinking. It's like men who be like that, <laughs> I don't want to say it cause it's so, it's so like, it's like very, what's the word, stereotypical, but like, that's just what I was thinking. I'm like, why is this boy so like clean? Like, <laughs> and I hate to be like men are not clean, but like they slick don't be clean. Like they don't be like having freaking 10 steps to their, they just throw water on their face and keep it going. But he was not like that so i'm like hmm, okay so we slept over or i slept over there cool after that y'all oh my god wait hold on so after he like after i slept over the next morning he was like oh like this is so weird like this is so weird like you really slept over here i can't believe this like this is so weird but mind you the night i slept over the night before we were like going we was talking about our lives we was like going in depth like i was telling him what had happened with my roommates and whatnot and my friend group and all that like i was like and i'm like it was kind of like trauma dumping i think it was trauma dumping i feel like that's why we like connected in the way that we did which obviously is not healthy but still i was like yolo <laughs> but so yeah we was like we was really getting it in like we was like close and stuff so i was like oh period so that's why i was doing the most like oh maybe we're so mad. like but i was just kidding like i wasn't being like serious like y'all know like I don't know why we're gonna get to it so the next morning we're talking he's like oh this is weird like I can't believe you really actually stepped over here like this is so crazy and I was like I didn't have to sleep over he's like no no yeah it was fine like because even the night before kind of like as we we're going to bed he was like 
oh no this is so different like I can't believe this I've never I've never done this before like kept saying it and I'm like okay do you want me to leave like I, I kept saying do you want me to leave and then he's like no you can stay no you can stay so I was like okay so I think I think I got in the shower and stuff I did I showered there and he's like you really shower and then the next one he's like I can't believe you really shower here like it was so odd like I didn't go out there naked and stuff like I just used your bathroom because I'm here and I need to wash my ass before I go to bed you know what I mean so I don't it to me it wasn't weird like I don't know to me it wasn't like that crazy because we was we was hitting it off it was cool he seemed chill about it I seemed but then he started like doing the most so I'm like you're being weird after a few days not going to lie after a few days after that after I slept over he would come over all the time then I think he asked me to be his girlfriend like a few days after that maybe like 10 10 10 days after that pro not, not even bro like he's in my he was in my apartment laying down in the bed talking about i love you miranda will you be my girlfriend and i said yes <laughs> like i said i was in a state in my life where i was just i felt like all that all that love i don't know all that whatever that was <laughs> all that whatever that was was really getting me where i needed to go like you know what i mean like i was feeling it like and like i said i wasn't feeling no no type of way i wasn't feeling like nothing for real because i was just so sad and depressed but i feel like because i was just so sad anything that was giving like i like you i care about you because my friend group <laughs> they didn't give three shakes of a rat's behind about me i was the only one that cared about myself my mom and my sister were the only people who actually cared about me and then that's it i had really nobody to call on or talk to about anything so this was just like uh oh period like maybe this is the god saying i was confusing the two babe i was confusing because he ended up being a freaking weirdo and he was a sociopath i feel like he was a sociopath like i don't know i feel like he was a sociopath but yeah he had to be his girlfriend after he kept coming over day in day out so we spent every single day together after that fast forward fast forward not even a few days i got covid <laughs> i got covid not too long after he asked me to be his girlfriend um it was like we was he was over and I started feeling like real like fatigue. I started feeling like I had this like small cough in my throat. I'm like, mm -mm, this is so weird. So he was like, maybe you should need, you know you need to go get in the shower. Like maybe you'll feel better after that. I got the shower. I felt like trash. So my mom came the next day and was like, I'm gonna take you to the hospital, or whatever, to see what's going on. And apparently I got there. They talk about my heart rate high as freak, high as a bitch. They I went to the back. They checked me out and baby, they was like, baby, you girl, you got COVID. You got COVID. And before that, I ain't never had that. So I'm like, mm, the freak. So I was so mind boggled. And I'm, that's a whole other story for another day. Like, because my roommate was pressed. <laughs> but I don't care. So yeah, moving on. I ended up getting COVID. And obviously, he can no longer stay in my apartment because I have COVID. Like, you're going to get sick. So he left. And would he even, y'all, he like legit basically I like lived there. Like, he would always come over to my apartment. Like, there's no, there was no doubt that he wasn't there. Like, he was sleeping there every night, like, right off the gate. And so you can say, like, it was like an equal thing. You can't just be like, I'm, cr but we're going to get to it. Like I said, he kept saying I love you and all that stuff. And it was cool. Fast forward to February. So I got COVID. Then I finally got over it. He came over. We was back at it. Like after like the what, 10 days that I had to quarantine, he came back over. After that, we resumed our normal programming, our scheduled programming. <laughs> Basically, let's fast forward to February <laughs> when we broke up. Well, we did actually break up. So this is what happened. So <laughs> this is so funny, bro. Like what the fuck? Like why did this happen? So he was sleeping over that night and I was, I'm like, I'm like a nitpicker when it comes to certain stuff, but it's like, if I actually care about somebody or if I like them even a little bit, like I'm going to start bringing up stuff that I don't like. Like, and I, maybe that's like not good, but like, I'm just going to bring it work. Cause like, why are you doing that? Like, why is that happening? Why are you doing that? You feel what I'm saying? Like, I don't know. So I don't even remember what we were, what we were talking about. Like what the argument was. I'm just trying to remember. Oh, I can't even tell you. <laughs> I can't even tell you but so it was one night in February he was sleeping over and I was like I got irritated at him for doing something I don't remember and then I'm I'm talking to him like like I was I was ignoring him it was something so small I remember though like it was stupid also to mention we would always have like little arguments about stuff but I feel like I was always in the right because okay I'm gonna tell y'all a couple examples so the first example was we went to a basketball game together because he loves basketball he was always going and i'm gonna get to it too so he loved basketball we went to, we would always go to the ksu basketball games and we went to one and there was this girl who was walking down the steps and he like made a comment about her appearance i don't remember what he said but it was like he was like attracted to her and now okay i'm not gonna say you can't be attracted to someone when you're in a relationship but it's like you need boundaries you know what i'm saying like you can't just say certain stuff 
I don't care. Like, if you're dating me, why do you think I care if you find another girl attractive? You feel what I'm saying? You could think that in your brain. Because I'm not, I'm sure I'm not the only attractive person you're thinking. Like, that you see. Honestly, I should be the only attractive person that you, yeah. <laughs> I was trying to, you know, give the benefit of the doubt. But, baby, mm, mm, that's not sliding, babe. What? I'm not the only... Mm -mm, that's not okay i should be the only attractive person ever in your brain in your mind period <laughs> but it's just a respect thing like if i see a fine man a fine ooh, like i'm not gonna say because mind you this boy wasn't even that cute I, I was just in a rut like i realized after the fact like baby you're not even that cute so we got an argument about that and then the whole game he ignored me like he wasn't saying anything to me and then like when we talked about it after the game he was like, oh yeah, well, I just felt like you were doing too much. So I would, I just got quiet. Like, and I just did like the whole, like, and that happened like the first, no, that, yeah, that happened like the first like five minutes of the game. Like, and the whole rest of the game, the boys ignoring me, like not speaking. I'm like, this is so weird. Another instance is I legit, this, oh my God. <laughs> I legit, we were, we went to the comments one night and I asked him to get me, ketchup or barbecue sauce or something and he was like well i already sat down like i'm so he was gonna go get up to get him some more food and i was like oh why are up you give me some ketchup and he was like how am i gonna do that and i was like put it on another plate like get a plate and put ketchup on it and he was like that's gonna look weird like that's gonna look dumb if i'm just walking around with a plate of ketchup i was like <laughs> and so we started arguing you're gonna argue with me about getting me some ketchup because you're already standing up I don't understand that he was like you can go get it yourself like bring your plate he didn't want to even grab my plate he didn't want to put it he was like i can't put it on my plate and i was like well don't put it on a, on a, on another plate like get a separate plate it was so dumb and i'm like you're just freaking extra like you're dumb and stupid so that's like the little the type of little stuff we was fighting about so the night that or the night before we had broke up we had a disagreement about something and i wasn't talking to him i ignored him i went to bed i went to sleep and he went to sleep like still he's in my apartment like he would sleep there all the time the next morning i texted him i said i need to talk to you and i wasn't gonna like break up with him or nothing but i was just like he keeps doing like little idi idiotic things and it's like why are you why are you doing that you know what i mean so i texted him i need to talk to you and then he gonna be like i need to talk to you too yeah there's something have to get off my chest i'm like what do you need to talk about <laughs> like what you what so i was like all right mind you i didn't even say this i didn't even say this it was february before valentine's day february so i had already bought this i had made plans we we're gonna go to dinner at what longhorn steakhouse and then i bought him so he liked basketball right he was obsessed with kobe bryant i bought him this like dog tag with like this kobe bryant quote on it i bought him um bracelets like matching bracelets because i love bracelets and he said that he would wear one so yeah because he was wearing a bracelet before of one of my bracelets and i just bought us some you know matching ones i bought him a, a do-rag because he said that he had like a bunch of do-rags and he was saying oh i don't have this color and so i bought him a do-rag in a certain color that he said he didn't have i bought him a plush blanket and i i still have the blank i still have the blanket over there the blanket's right there. I have that because I wasn't gonna waste it because that was fourteen dollars. Like I'm gonna use that thing. So um, I bought him that. I bought him a bear, and I bought him some candy and like a card. And I wrote like this heartfelt. I was like, I know we don't see eye to eye and blah blah blah, but I love you and I know we can work this out. Whatever. I did. I had all that stuff. And so he broke up with me. I think a few days before this happened. But a few days before Valentine's Day. So I had already bought this. Shit. So we're gonna get to it. So next morning I text him. He texts me. We planned to meet up after classes. So he came over to my apartment after class and he was like, yeah, well, um, I think we need to break up because you just be, we're, we're moving too, or you, he, no, this is what he said. He said, I was moving too fast. Why was I saying stuff like, oh, I think we're soulmates. Why was I saying, oh, we're meant for each other. Why were you saying that the first day I met you? I had just met you. Like, nobody says that. Like saying I was a psychopath, like saying I was crazy for saying that when you said I love you like two days after I met you and then a few days after that asked me to be your girlfriend you allowed me you said I should sleep over at your apartment did you not you said that <clears throat> and so I did I kept asking the night of I said do you want me to leave like you're acting like 
kind of crazy. Like, I can leave. Like, it's not that serious. He was like, no, stay, stay. <laughs> I'm crazy for saying, I'm crazy for saying something that you took so strongly. Like, it's not my fault you said that you took that so, like, okay, I can say, oh, we might, we just might be soulmates. You didn't think I was joke. Like, you just took that, that's your fault for taking it so serious and running with it. If, if you were, like, doing all those actions based off of what I said, you're just as odd because that makes no sense. So, yeah. So, I was upset because I had already bought, I bought all of those gifts for Valentine's Day. Come to find out. Oh, wait. No. Yes, he did. But it was like he had bought. I, and I ended up finding out that he bought me, like, a bear and, like, what? Just a bear or something. And he was like, I was going to get you more, but... I decided not to. He was gonna give me that. There was this like perfume that I would, would always like. Okay, I'm gonna show you it. Hold on. This is the perfume. I was running out of this perfume and I love this perfume. It's it's um Fantasy, I think, by Britney Spears. And I was telling him I was running out of that and I was like, oh my gosh, like I want another bottle so bad. So he was like finding on Amazon, basically saying he was gonna get it for me, right? Y'all, this boy's poor. I'm like what? So that next day we was going back and forth. I'm, I'm like telling him like, how am I weird? And how are you not weird? Like, how is it my fault? that you reciprocated every single like you feel what i'm saying y'all yeah y'all know what i'm saying so then all right y'all this next part is kind of confusing because why did i just jump into it like that like i lost track of what i was just saying but what i was explaining in this next part is like i was explaining it as if it was the same day no i'm just saying we used to watch euphoria together like before he before that day like we would binge watch it because I ain't have no HBO and I wasn't paying for that shit. <laughs> I wasn't paying for that. Mm -mm. And he had it. So I said, thank God. I said, thank you, Lord. Um, so yeah, that's what I was saying. Period. We was not watching it that day. That's what it kind of sounded like. Like, frick, I can't, I just don't make no sense sometimes. I, so we was watching Euphoria on his HBO Max account. Cause baby, I don't have HBO. <laughs> I'm not paying for that. And so he had it and we was watching that on his account. And what a freak, after he left, I slammed the door, I screamed, because I was just so irritated. I'm like, you legit wasted my time, I wasted my money, I'm not, I can't return this stuff, like, it's already been too late, like, you know what I mean? Like, I bought it, like, days in advance, because, like, you know, like, I was trying to be nice with it, and nice about it, I had already opened all the stuff, like, I'm not returning any of this, like, you made me waste my money for no reason, like, and apparently he knew he was gonna break up with me days before that, so even before we got in that last argument, he knew because okay let me tell y'all this so i had this english class and he had a friend in the english class um there was this boy that sat like near me in the class and i didn't know they were friends until like jack sorry i keep forgetting the name until jack had dropped me off in class and they like dapped up and was like talking and stuff i'm like oh these two know each other so jack had that friend in that class and apparently the friend was telling him like oh yeah you should just break up with her you need to break up with her because nah i keep doing that da, da. so and he basically told him to break up with me before valentine's day so that he doesn't have to give me a gift <sighs> that was the first sign of poverty baby your poverty baby you're poor you want to scream this that and the third your mom drives what a mercedes and you can't afford to give me a <laughs> baby i don't even have much, that much money and i spent all my money on a nice gift a thoughtful gift because I'm like, what? Like, I don't understand. Like, I understand I can be a lot to handle sometimes. And also, that kind of was just like a random ass relationship. Like, it just kind of happened out of nowhere. But, like, still, though. Like, what? And the way you listen to your friend, like, you want to please your friend. Like, it's giving, is your gun pink? Are you LGB? Because your gun pink, babe. Like, you're giving LGB. So, yeah. He said he wanted to break up with me before Valentine's Day. I'm like, oh. so that pissed me off even more because I'm like, bro, I really wasted all my money. Like, bro. So then he left. He was like, yeah, I'm sorry. Like, no, he didn't even say sorry. He just was not sorry. He was like, yeah, you did. Like, basically saying, like, I did this to myself. Like, he was just so cruel and fucking rude. Like, he was like, you're, basically called me, like, delusional. All this, like, I'm like, how? 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 Fast forward to March, y'all. I mean, well, let's backtrack. After that, I gave the durag to this other boy that I was talking to. Not talking to, but I, that I knew. And then, um... What I kept the blanket, kept the bear. I finally threw that bear out. I, we'll get to that, but I finally threw because there was two bears. So we're gonna get back. We're gonna get to it. And I got threw away the stuff. I ate the candy. I gave some of the gifts away. I gave one of the, that Kobe Bryant tag. I gave it to my sister so she can give it to her boyfriend for Valentine's Day because I didn't want it to go to waste. So I'm just like, yeah. 
And then I kept the bracelets. I gave the bracelet to my sister, the other one, but I think she lost it. <laughs> I know I honestly lost a bracelet too. I don't know where that thing went, but yeah. So fast forward. I'm like, dang, another person left me, another person, you know, lied pretended like they cared about me and honestly freaking didn't and it's like I'm so genuine I understand that I do stuff sometimes that could be like a little annoying but it's like if you say you love me you have to love all of me you know what I'm saying you have to say you have to love my personality how I can get sometimes you have to love the good and the bad you know what I'm saying like that's just what it is like I I don't make the rules like I'm not making that up you feel what I'm saying so fast forward to March and we started talking again. Basically, this is how we started talking again. I was doing this challenge on Instagram and it was like, post four texts with your name in it. So I went and looked and Jack, I, I posted a few from like my sister and my friends. And I also, I just type my name in the messages. You know, like when you go to messages, you can type your name or type whatever word and then like it pops up messages with that word in it. In it. So I put my name, a bunch of messages popped up and one of the messages was like, what did he say? It was, oh. It was like Miranda supremacy and I just like that. <laughs> so I picked that message to put like on the challenge cause I just thought it ate. But what I realized was I had loved the message when it happened. So I don't really know when he had texted me that, but I went back and I'm like, mm. so I unloved the message. But at the time I didn't know that it told them that you unloved the message. So like, I didn't know when you took away um, a reaction, it told the other person like blank removed art, blank removed. You know what I'm saying? I didn't know it did that. So. I removed it, but I didn't know it told him, but it ended up telling him. So then time goes by, time goes by, and I look at my phone and it was like, Jack loved Miss You Baby or something, like a message that he had sent before. So it was saying like, Jack loved I Miss You, blah, blah, blah. So I'm like, mm, this is weird. This is like, is this a quink, uh, is this a quinky dink? So then I'm like, oh, so he loved them. Okay. So then I found one, I found one. I went back and I found like a response that like a message that we had already sent that could sound like a response. I hope this is making sense. And it was a message that I think I had sent and it was like really with like a crying laughing emoji. And I liked that message. I love that message. And then after that, he sent me this long paragraph. Like he was spilling out the beans. Like he was spilling out the beans, y'all. So did I finish telling y'all that he logged me out of his accounts? Yeah, I think I did. But yeah, so he spilled the beans. He's like, I miss you, I love you so much. Like, I can't believe that happened. Like, I'm a better person now. Like, I don't even know why I listen to him, blah, blah, blah. Uh, like, said something about uh, Fez Co. Cause we've been, we was, we was binge, watch, binge watching Euphoria. So at the end, he had put it in there like, Fez, blah, 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 RIP Fez or something like that. And I'm like, cause I didn't even get to finish it, baby. Cause you logged me out. So why are you trying to, why are you trying to but little did we know like he was just trying to be funny and like cute and like that so we started talking again he said to me fair i'm like oh no, 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 this is so cute whatever at this time i already complained about the boy that all of my friends so it's like girl why are you taking him back like so at this point i didn't want to take it back because he broke up with me and i told all my friends my mom my sister i told all of them like this is what this boy did he's weird i explained the whole situation and so it'd be looking like ah that you like dog somebody and then take them back so i was like uh, like I'm gonna talk to you again because I was cute and all that what you did but like I can't like be like public with you for real like you know what I mean like I'm not gonna do that again because that's like embarrassing for me I already told my friends that I, I hate your guts and you're a weirdo I already said that so I'm not gonna go back no this is what we're not you're not you're definitely not coming back from that and neither will I so no time goes by we're back talking but I wasn't like I was before like I wasn't all lovey-dovey like I wasn't like, I just wasn't doing what I was doing before in that, like, I wasn't all, I don't know, like, I wasn't trying to, like, post him, I wasn't trying to see him all the time, like, it just was, like, certain stuff like that, like, I just wasn't trying to do all that. So, he kind of, like, picked up on that, and he was still trying to be lovey-dovey, though. So, around the end of April, one day, I was walking out of my apartment, and there was these, like, and mind you, at this point, I'm the only one that lives in the apartment. That's a whole other story, but at this point, I'm the only one who lives in the apartment, and I had already had a stalker, you already know. So when I was in my apartment, I closed the door and there was these two pictures, like printed out pictures on my door. And I'm like, and mind you, it was like 10 a.m. So this morning I was supposed to be going to see my mom in our new house, this this house that I stay at now. We were in the process of moving into it, April, 2022, May, 2022. So I closed the door, I'm like, what the freak? Like, I'm like, why the freak are there pictures here? It kind of freaked me out if I'm being really honest. Cause it was like these like love 
pictures like like pictures you get on google but it was like lovey-dovey and i'm like what is this so i take them down and i just like go about my business i started looking around because i'm like did anybody else get these on their door like i'm thinking the housing unit did that or something like i don't know i was i didn't think too much of it time goes by a few days go by and i, I leave my house or i leave my house again and i think going over here again why the freak is there these it's like 20 photos printed out photos of like love quotes and like heart pictures and heartfelt notes and at the end was a snapchat message like a printed out snapchat message and i read it and it was from jack he was trying to do this extravagant love thing like i love you so much i want to be your i want what i want to i want you to be my girlfriend like i want to be with you again blah 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 and i was like oh this is so sweet like this is so nice but but again y'all you embarrass me <laughs> like do you really think i want to take you back after you really embarrassed me like that like like it was really sweet and all and i actually really liked it i was like oh my gosh this is like the nicest thing a man has ever done for me but then also like mm, you was dogging me out you embarrassed me like no what the heck so i was like oh this is cute but i think i had texted him and i was like oh i got your nose all I, I i was telling him like that kind of scared me because you know i just had a stalker so i don't know why you did all that but he was trying to be cute he was, he was like oh yeah i wanted to just be nice like i never did this for any girl before like trying to like gas himself like i don't care what you did i don't care how you did it man like you're not getting me so beginning of may now fast forward that happened he was trying to be extravagant i wasn't reciprocating like i said beginning of may it was time it was time to move out i think may 8th was my day that i had to move out so or may 7th one of those and so that week it was time to move out and i finally moved out i said goodbye to my dorm it was bittersweet um and i moved well i moved to lawrenceville i'm gonna try to explain this like better because i was explaining it in the video but no that that was long and drawn out for no reason basically you're you're probably wondering like where the freak did lawrenceville come from but my family like my mom and sister lived in lawrenceville with my mom's then fiance but there was family issues so we were moving into where I, we're at now so i we were going to i had to move to lawrenceville because that's where they were staying at the time but we were moving we were in the process of moving from lawrenceville to this house so yeah i lived in lawrenceville for like the summer basically most like like what like may april may is when i live because i finished what i finished my college i finished that semester like the first week of may so we just had to wait for my sister to finish her school semester and then we could finally move because obviously she's not gonna leave a couple weeks before the semester and that'll make no sense so yeah so jack lived in duluth i don't know he lived in gwinnett county so he lived in that area or maybe that's not gwinnett county but he lived near lawrenceville so it was easier for him to see me in lawrenceville so we would always we would link up sometimes we would go to the park we would get some we would get food we would chill you know it was cool um he would come he would only ever come to uh, my um house in lawrenceville because i wasn't gonna go to his house because he was having like family issues, whatever cool so um yeah he would go to lawrenceville pick me up we would go to the park it would be cool and mind you this is happening like met so we hung out and one day i'm gonna tell y'all this because this is important one day we hung out and I had asked him because I wanted some Chick-fil-A and I had asked him, I said, are you going to get my Chick-fil-A? Like I had money. <laughs> Don't, and mind you, I would always have to ask him to buy me stuff. And like, granted, I know, you know, you're not with somebody for them, for their money per se, but like, if you're coming to get me and saying, oh, do you want to go get food? Why are you not paying for it? So like, I wanted Chick-fil-A, but I didn't bring it up. He was like, oh, I'm kind of hungry. I want to go eat so then i'm like oh yeah there's a chick-fil-a down the street because that's what i wanted and he's like okay yeah we'll go there so we get there i'm like so are you gonna pay for mine or not like i would always ask him just just in case like if you want to pay for it you know what i mean like granted if you're not if he wasn't offering clearly he's not gonna pay for it but i'm just like maybe you will i have hope that you will pay for it because i feel like you have to <laughs> anyway so we went and got chick-fil-a and he ended up paying for it but that was the only time he paid for anything we were when we were together like in the same room like he never paid for anything ever so yeah also let me explain the bear situation i forgot to mention that there was the bear that i got him for valentine's day and then he got me a bear for valentine's day and then after that after like we had got back together again like march not got back together but like started talking again in march he had gave me the bear and so i kept the bears 
even t moving here i kept the mirrors because you know i was still back and forth lawrenceville to here so back to the chick-fil-a point back to the chick-fil-a point <laughs> so we hung out that day got the food and he bought it but it was after i asked him right so finally end of may comes around my sister's done with school we can finally move into our new home so we move in here and he was supposed to come and hang out because he we, he was like trying to milk it like while i was in Norrisville because it was like a 20 minute drive so he wasn't like he didn't really care that much that he had to drive to Lawrenceville be from his house because it was close but when it came to coming here he's like mm. it was like it's now an hour to get here and like on the highway so it's like he didn't really want to come here because it was far you know what I'm saying like hey guys again <laughs> I'm just saying it's like boy if you really want to see me you would have saw me an hour's not even that long of a drive like you know what I mean like I'm sitting here oh it's a long drive don't mind this dry patch on my face y'all it's been there but yeah i don't mind that but yeah like it's a it's a hour it's long that's not long that's not long <laughs> that's not long he just didn't want to he didn't feel like it because he was him so there's that so he was supposed to hang out here one day and i thought i'm like hey can jack come over she was like yeah sure and we had the plan to why the day of he gonna be like my mom and dad said i can't come like they said I can't come anymore like as if he or apparently his dad said he could but his mom was telling him no because it's like far and they don't want him driving all the way over here I'm just like ew like that's lame like baby aren't you 19 like I was just like what like you can't do what you like you can't just drive your car anywhere like it's like you what but anyway so he didn't come over he ended up not coming over and then we had a whole discussion like dang I wasn't like so like oh my gosh this is kind of crazy but I also was just like, I was annoyed because, yeah, but I also knew I wasn't gonna drive over there because it's not that serious. Like, I won't, I don't want to go to your house. But yeah, I was just annoyed because it's like I had, a, we had plans and the day of you're gonna say you can't, like, as if you, did you even ask? <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, it's giving me lie. Days after we had that um discussion about him not coming over because he was supposed to come over, he didn't. We had a discussion like, dang, like, this is sad. He sent me a paragraph, no, he sent me a note a memo of like this like i'm telling you like three pages long of stuff three pages long of stuff so i'm gonna break this down for y'all basically when he didn't when we had a disagreement he would end up like we would stop talking and then hours would go by and he would send me a paragraph or like two or three or four of like him still talking about it or like trying to explain himself because he was saying like he can't have conversations because he doesn't understand how to i don't know how to navigate it like he can't talk he can't like he has to think of it after the fact what he wants to say will come to him after we're done talking about it and then he'll send me it so yeah so days go by he sends me this long drawn out message this memo and basically in the freaking memo it was like he was just telling me like these he had i think he had like what 13 points of reasons as to why i'm just like i just ain't so he like but one of the points that stood out to me but first of all he said i put him on a mental roller coaster <laughs> second of all he said I was a gold digger. He was like, I feel like I'm a bank when I'm with you. <laughs> Repeat that. You said you feel like what? I was boggled. My mind was boggled. I was I, I said, what though? You feel like a what, babe? How? When you pay for one thing. Ever. And it was that Chick-fil-A. It was that was it. That was it. You paid for like a what? Ten dollar bear? Like I'm confused. Like on your own accord, you did that on you did that yourself. So I don't understand. So I forgot all the other points, but he he was like dogging me, like he was going in, like everything that's wrong with me, blah blah. blah. And I'm like, damn. <laughs> but honestly, I didn't even like him that much. So I went in. I'm like, baby, you bought me one Chick Fil A. Like baby, you da da da. Like I'm just going in. Like I was like, how did I put you on a miserable roller coaster when you're the one who said? I'm delusional and I like I'm still talking about what happened in February because baby <laughs> you embarrass me so yeah I guess he sent me that yeah around beginning of June I don't really know the timeline but yeah he sent me that and that was the last of it we had got on the phone after I read it because I'm like I read that message and I'm like or that memo note and I had called him because I'm like oh baby we need to explain I might have the note in here because I hold on oh my god i have it i have it 
So this happened June 15th. I was right with the timeline. What the heck? Okay. So I, I, I put, I made a, so y'all can see. It says June 15th, y'all can, can y'all see that? June 15th, 2022 at 2.24 p.m. y'all, I swear. <laughs> I wrote this note in, in response to what, to the note that he, cause I'm like, there was so many points I had to touch on. Cause I'm like, you said all this about me, babe. But what? So I'm gonna go through these. I'm gonna go through these. Cause babe, this is crazy. So I had wrote this topics to touch on and I had called him and I'm like, I went through every single. So the first one I said, I said, you're the one who put me on a mental roller coaster because he did. Like, I don't think I've explained that. Y'all, y'all heard what I said? Like, yes, you did. Next I said, oh, this is a quote from what he said. It was going to be an everyday thing where I have to constantly put effort into communicating with you when it should be mutual. He said that he was constantly communicating with me and it wasn't mutual. I wasn't communicating with him. So who were you talking to when, 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 when I sent, who did I send the message to then? Who did, who got my message when I sent the message? Who, who got my call when I called you? Basically, oh my gosh, I remember. So he had started this freaking job that his like parents had made him do in the summer to get him some money. And basically he had got off at six. At this point I didn't have no job. So I'm just chilling at home. And he, he legit said, he was like, I'm going to call you after work every day and tell you how my day was because like at this point we're in we're an hour away from each other so he wasn't going to see me every day like he was like he was in Lawrenceville so he said I want to call you after work every day like after he would get off and tell me how his day went and all that stuff so then he did it like for two days and then that then that's where we got that from talk about I communicate I, I'm, I'm feeling like boy shut the fuck up so then here's another quote I took from it it says and when we was on the phone there was a time when you said something about you your friends were gonna be like f f n words <laughs> all we have is each other and that made me quiet for a little because you make these jokes and all about that but ultimately you allow that into your mind and when i have to constantly hear that over i'm finna believe it's true so basically he's talking about how i was on the phone with my friends and we was like f these men like we all we have is each other we just need each other it's like funny it's endearing it's a friendship thing like get friends and you'll understand like i'm sure you will be like Fuck these like did i say that was about you no it was a general statement f these f these things like that's just what it is like i'm sorry that's just the motto that's the motto with y'all though you feel what i'm saying like f t n f these things like i don't care that's just what it is like how you he was just so pressed about it like ew also y'all you have to remember i wasn't with this boy I wasn't and I've known them longer than I've known you so I don't care how that makes you feel because quite frankly it has nothing to do with you you could feel a certain way because you're a man and all that but we weren't together and I specifically explicitly told him I need to take time to get back even though I knew I wasn't gonna get back how I was because like he really embarrassed me and then he's gonna put me on a mental roller coaster like how you gonna come my face, say all that stuff, and then turn around and try and be all lovey dovey? Like, you're manipulative, babe. Like, that's it's just not gonna happen. So, yeah, it's just like, mm, no, I'm gonna keep, I'm gonna keep saying it. <laughs> and you're gonna keep being upset. <laughs> I don't care. Like, this is your fault. So, and then another quote from what he said, because I don't have his notes, but these, what I'm reading are quotes from what he said. This quote says, you referred yourself as not having a n-word and us being friends. Obviously, that's what we are. But how you say these things makes me feel like I'm never going to get back to the same level. Basically, in this part, he was saying that I would always say I don't have a man and I and me and him are only friends. That's what we were. We were talking, but you were not my boyfriend. We already established that in February when you broke up with me and said I'm delusional. So, yeah, I'm not taking you back. I already talked about you to all my friends and to all my family. So, no, I can't take you back. That's really stupid of me. That would look dumb. What? Next quote, it says, and I got caught myself, and I got caught myself losing myself trying to fit in your life. Babe, first of all, improper grammar. But what he was trying to say is he caught himself trying to fit into my life. That's too bad. <clears throat> That's too bad. Next quote, this one's kind of long. He said, this is what, this is what got me. And it doesn't make sense if I drive over to you by me feeling bad because I'm basically feeling obligated to spoil you for your birthday, buy you gifts, take you to dinner, and just anything before that. Oftentimes I'm with you, I just feel like a bank and I just be getting used. 
obviously I don't mind buying you stuff here and there and all but because I'm a loving person I don't know how to say no often and you know I got money but it's just that because I sense us falling apart I'm feeling like I'm forced into doing all this in some sort of fashion which I don't want to feel like doing once again <laughs> a big a big event, a big day coming up and he don't want to spend no money for it <laughs> Bro, what? What? First it was Valentine's Day and now it's my birthday. Like, come on now. Nobody said you had we're gonna get to it, but it's like that's so funny. Like you're telling her yourself, talk about you know I have money. I haven't seen it. Is the money in the room with us? <laughs> I haven't seen it. <laughs> what are you talking about? Nobody's baby. You bought me Chick fil A and a bear. <laughs> I like <laughs> Come on. <laughs> As for the birthday thing, I was telling him how my friends at the time, their men got them like a Airbnb. Their men got them a hotel and Buckhead, and they they put the rose petals on the bed. They bought them shoes, but they gave them a party of their life. That's all I, I was telling him. That was I expecting him to do all that? No, I'm just telling you. Like it would be nice, cool. I never had that before. But I wasn't saying you need to do this for me for my birthday. My birthday was coming up in July and this, he sent me this in June. So that boy has no money. Like you don't have any money, your parents do. So that's why you're saying all that. So then another quote is, but yeah, the whole feeling like a bank thing. He's talking about, oh, I feel, I'm, you know I'm nice. That's why you're trying to take advantage of me. Like I had money. I was simply asking, are you going to buy it? You, you said you, <sighs> another quote says, if I was gonna have hope for us to be in the fall, I shouldn't have to force and drain myself into putting my all into chasing after you because you give me a perception that you don't see a relationship with me in the future. That was a little spot on. I didn't see myself with him at all in the future. I was just dragging it because I was too nice with it. Like, I was dragging it because, like, I don't know. I was just nice. Like, he was cool. Like, we was chilling. But I really didn't see myself being with him again because of how it ended the last time. Like, like I said, he embarrassed me. Like, I don't want to be with somebody who embarrass me. That's odd. And I'm going to look like an idiot. He also said he was mentally exhausted, don't know why. And then he said, I just missed the you. This is another quote, the last quote that I had wrote down. I just missed the you in January, February when you kept texting me like D near every two hours in school and had me had my location so you kept wondering where I was. Another thing, I'm like, baby, that was January, February me. Like, I'm not the same person. You did what you did in February, that's why we're here. Like, I'm like, you should be trying to win my affection back. You, when I'm, I'm not, you're just not gonna snap your fingers and jump back into my life and be like, yay, like nothing's changed, let's get back to, no, that's not how that works. Like, like I said, you embarrassed me, you made, you made me, like, I don't wanna say heartbroken, but I felt away, cause like I spent all that money, I did all that, for what? What was the point? <laughs> what was the point? I'm so happy I found the, that note, bro. Like, oh my gosh, I'm so happy I found that note. And then at the end of it, I said, I don't change for anyone, period, because I don't so yes that's it that's all after that message we had that conversation i stopped talking to him i blocked him and yeah i've seen him like once or twice this year like on campus but we don't speak obviously he's just a weirdo so yeah i hope y'all enjoyed this video it was really really long it's literally 50 minutes so this is gonna be fun to edit <laughs> but i hope you guys enjoy this video if you did give it a thumbs up like, comment, subscribe. Comment down below. We're on the road to 500 subscribers. I know we can do it. I know we can make it. Thank you all for the love and support that I've gotten thus far. And make sure to join. Make sure to join this channel. Join the family. Join the movement, y'all. Because this is a movement here. I love y'all. Peace.